Everyone, today we're gonna do free to play. By the way, ha, this guy's toast. You know, people always ask me, toast. I ain't got a lot of money to play Hearthstone. What should I craft? And my recommendation has always been just just craft Whizbang, because at least um, well, we can enchant Vargoth. I did not know that. Craft Whizbang, because you get to play multiple decks, all of which are not bad. But maybe they want one consistent deck to play to get them to a, a decent rank. Maybe rank 5, maybe rank 10. So today we're just going to do a quick run through. And of course, since it's been two years since I last did my free to play Hunter. Two years, holy crap, it's been a long time. Oh, it's really been two years. I figure I can try and update my decks. So Hunter is very easy to free to play because a bunch of their cards are cheap, cheap, cheap. Free to play. They're looking at stuff like uh, Timberwolf, Hyena, Draken, Animal Companion, Kilker Man, Hellmaster, these are like cheaper free, Tundra Rhino, Very Dire Wolf Alpha. Let me open some packs here because I haven't logged in in a while. These are packs you regularly get through logging in anyway. Like uh, Rise of Shadow pack. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not cheating. Just opening the packs you normally get. So the latest expansion introduced a few good options. Like Spring Paw, that's a good option. Oh, I've never disenchanted anything on this account before. We can't, we obviously cannot craft Zulujin. That's against the rules. Grab our Spring Paw here. Trimmer Fly seems good. Hatchet, I think it's bad. Two copies of it. Unleash the Hound. By Frenzy. Use at least one, maybe even more. Okay, we definitely want Savannah. That's about 200 more dust. In terms of other rules, I'm gonna try and keep this within like under 1200 dust or around there. So like no epics at the minimum and obviously no legendaries. Mechano eggs I got from the Noble Garden event. All right, this should be enough dust to craft a very cheap deck. Grab two Savannah high mains. Oh, Hench Clan Thug wouldn't be bad. Hog Rider. Hog Steed, there you go. Now this is the making of a decent free-to-play deck. I like Animal Companion. Hellmaster is a bit question mark for me. I mean, all of our turn four play involves us having a beast on the board, right? I think Dire Frenzy would be a little stronger than Hellmaster though. So rather have two Dire Frenzy, we can even potentially cut Hellmaster altogether. Don't mind having a second copy of Dire Wolf Alpha as well. Maybe we cut Hellmaster entirely. Yeah. And run double Frenzy. The problem with Frenzy is that it really shines when you have Master's Call. We got one drop, we got two drops. Tundra Rhino with Scavenging Hyena would be strong. I can see this deck running out of steam. But you do pack a high main, you do pack the Unleashed to be, so maybe you can curve out. How much does this cost? 200, 280. 360, 440, 520, 600, 700, 800, 1000, 1080, 1600. So 1600 dust, huh? Which is around 1000. A deck like this should get you to rank 5, and I think it'll teach you a lot of the fundamentals. Oh, it's a long way to climb. Tells no way this hits rank 5. Rank 10's the limit? I think you can hit rank 5 with this. And just for that, I'm gonna prove you wrong by hitting okay. rank 5. Toast, if you go rank 5 with this, I would donate 1,000. Really? You guys think this can't hit rank 5? I think this can easily hit rank 5. Alright. The 1k challenge to hit rank 5. Have you wait? 
Hang on, have you met me before? Have, you, have, have we met? I hit top 200 legend playing Meme Warlock back in the day. Okay, this is actually really annoying. <laughs> Oh my god, this is obnoxious. This is actually better, because if I trade, it just trades completely, right? And he'll still have a mech on the board. I'm gonna lose the mech priest, huh? Listen, buddy. Listen. Listen, buddy. Yeah, the weakest part about this is no master's call, but you can't make up for it by running um bigger bombs like Savannah and Unleash. Oh god, if I lose to someone running uh, Silverback Patriarch. He's just not bad. Huffer wouldn't be bad either. A snake trap epic. Listen, I got this off Shimmer Fly. Relax. Good fucking lord. Uh, it's gonna take us a while to get through that. Probably use it on this. If I'm gonna draw a card, a one mana for for Shimmerfly that gives me a random spell helps a lot. Maybe Hunter's Mark. I don't think so. Look, your average priest player, your average any player, isn't gonna be packing. A silverback shaped patriarch and double divine spiriting it. Those isn't Unleash the Beast only to a soldier. I mean Unleash the Beast is, you know, a five five that comes with rush that you can play twice. It's a very strong value card, right? It's not very efficient, because a 6 mana 5-5 five five isn't very Squire, efficient, attend. but it's a value. Ready, sir. And if you're not running Master's Call, then you need stuff that gives you value, right? Man, it's been so long since I played against them. Um, <laughs> priest. I forgot what they do. Yes, I should have tracking first. Well, it depends on what random spell I got. I think it goes Savannah, for sure. The only good priest card left these days are Mass Hysteria. Because if I was to upgrade this deck, what should I do? Probably just the Master's Call. If you want a more good version of it. I mean, at rank 25, we're just smashing noobs. Nothing too surprising. The most important thing as Hunter is securing your board. Because you snowball beast synergy really hard. And you get free damage in. Road to rank 5. Yeah, we'll make rank 5 the gold. I'll try and keep this as educational as I can. Mid-range Hunter is the quintessential free-to-play deck that everyone will always experience. Uh, at this level, I don't know what kind of decks people are running. I know I want a 1-drop. So Unleash is definitely gone. And we only keep one of these. So maybe two, but I think I want to curve into the one, two. I got six one drops possible. I like the hatchet because you can remove stuff with it. But I don't think I'll have anything removable. Because Northside Cleric doesn't even die to the hatchet. Ah, well, c'est la vie. Mm, I'll go with Spring Paw. This way, if I stick the hyena, I can double trade in for a big hyena. Exhibit A. If he gets the damage lackey, it won't kill this. If he gets the rush lackey and rush something with two attack, that gon' kill it. I mean, this is super scary. If you don't kill this, it's gonna kill you. 
Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Uh, how big are my balls again, Chad? I always forget. Don't want to leave that up because you could silence it, right? I got double kill command in my hand. So, like, going face is very appealing. My options are pretty much I can die frenzy this and go here, which I don't really like. I can trade this in and kill command this, which I like. Or I can use this, trade this in, and just be aggressive. I think we sack one. Um, the other benefit is that he can't coin mass hysteria to kill this. I think this play is fine. Yeah, this is okay. Yeah, beat it. Savannah. Uh, 9, 14, 16. Nice and easy. Red range hunters thing. You stick in hyena and you have to spring paw. That's very good. That's why um, I picked spring paw off tracking with hyena in hand. Does this bowling? I mean, I have to get through these players to get to like rank 10 or something. Oh, nice curve. I don't even need kill command on one though. On three. You want animal companion because if you get four attack when you're against priest, you're pretty happy. I'm not sure Claire we easily deal with with the double trade. We'll be left with just a 1-1 one, one Murloc, but hey, at least we'll have something. <laughs> Look, chat, I am aware that's a river cross for us. Not bad, not bad at all. Mid range Hunter isn't like all about aggression. It's mostly just curving out to your mid game where you're the strongest. We're working hero power here. Just weave it in. Weave it in. Turn 5, we drop the Rhino. Turn 6, we drop the High Main. I mean, the River Crocodiles took out two minions. Wasn't bad. That's a good pickup. Wink, wink. Question is, do you want to keep the Lynx here? How's he going to kill this Holy Nova? But that comes next turn, right? I'm just gonna drop it. I don't imagine getting too much value from holding it. We must cleanse the I know I'm a bully, okay? Mm. I'll, play, I'll play around Holy Nova because at this level, Holy Nova is most likely on the table. Another option, I could have just died with Alpha, double trade, and hero powered, but that's also weak to Holy Nova anyway. There it is. I always recommend Hunter if you want to learn the fundamentals, because as Hunter, you play around cards, you play around removal. I'm not, I'm not flexing. I'm just, you know, I'm just calling it as it is, you know. Uh, so you do math. Two, 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 two. Yeah, this is four. My question is, why is there so much priest? Those, if I have a thousand of shark crabs, this will wait for another 400 and create whiz bang. Well, A, you have to wait for 600. And B, I would say whiz bang. Whiz bang is just more fun. And I would say half the whiz bang decks are really good. Half are pretty meme. I would always recommend whiz bang over free to play hunter. Because you don't want to be stuck playing one deck. One slightly above average deck, you know. Okay, mage. It's so hard to predict. 
rank 25 players because you have no idea what they might have. I might just keep both and be flexible. I'm gonna hatch it. Sorcerer's Apprentice. I think having a one drop is too important. Yeah, this is really nice. He plays a minion. We can just play, play Hyena to get value. If it's a one health minion, if it's a two health minion, we just play Dire Wolf Hellfire to kill it. If he plays a three health minion, then fudge me. Hmm. This is a good question. I think it's Dire Wolf Alpha. The thing about the Hyena, though, um, the thing about the Hyena is that um, he can't ping the 1 1. So I actually like Hyena more. If he frostbolted, he frostbolted. But this prevents the ping. And you would play around things that you know he has, right? And this punishes him for playing minions as well. Hyena is really good in this meta. There's less removal overall, less stronger two drops, which makes Hyena really good. Because Hyena is one of those two drops. It's like, hey, by the way, if you don't kill this guy, I'm going to kill you with it. Are you adding cards as you progress? Or is this the final F2P deck? Smiley I would say this face. is the final one. It's already pretty expensive at 1000 dust. The only way I would change it is Master's Call. Look. <laughs> that's just the way it goes. That's just the way it goes. Don't need to be too sad about it. Let's either Animal Companion or Dire Frenzy here. Probably save Dire Frenzy for something bigger impact. This is adding a plus three plus three. This is adding a plus four plus four. Even though this is more mana efficient. We already have 5 and 6 curved out. Curved planned out anyway. So that's pretty good. Less chance of him fireballing this. Polymorph would be good. But then again, if you use Polymorph, then he's not polymorphing this. The flippity flop. Uh, okay, the annoying thing here, I think you steal Savannah and then you take this out. Yeah, I think you still do that. Even though the Shimmer Fly is nice, because it's, uh, it's a straight trade. The fact of the matter is I have, I'm pulling 5 mana. So smart. It's too dangerous to leave up a Sorcerer's Apprentice. Although I don't hate it, uh, but you want to protect your Rhino anyway. Another option is we can look for one more 1 drop here. Another, another option is we die Frenzy this. Mm. I think this is the play. I think this is the play. It's too dangerous to leave it up. <sighs> right now, he's lacking on tempo, and Sorcerer's Apprentice is just too tempo y. If he blizzards this, we get two hyenas and we keep a rhino anyway. Oh, chat. You think I want to put seven damage on a two health minion? I would never want to do that. We bother? No, I don't think we bother killing this at this point. We just ship, we just go full face here. Let's hatch it. Even though hero power is probably the same thing. The only downside is yes, Harrison Jones. But if you play Harrison Jones for five mana, he's dead anyway. Oh, I missed one damage. Well, <laughs> doesn't matter. Hunted deals damage in twos. Okay, all right, my bad. I'm just showing you guys what mistakes look like. And you guys caught it. Good job, Chad. You're paying attention. Nice work. You learned my lesson. Very well. TNT, MF, Erdunas, Nova, Roshi, Fluffy Skull, to be him, Sigren, Mickey Manti, Jim Tani, and Toxicity. You passed my dungeon wisdom test. Very well. Was it better to die from the Tundra right now? Actually, 
That wouldn't be bad either, right? You get a five mana for eight. Wait, five mana, five, eight, right? No, you're right. You're right. I actually agree with that statement. I think uh, Dire Frenzying Tundra Rhino is better. Nice, two Shimmerfly. Against Warrior, I would um, Dire Frenzy Savannah, but against a deck that I race against that has no healing, Rhino is better. Uh, either I hatch it or I shouldn't fly a spring pog again. Nine coin frenzy maybe. I don't like just playing the axe. So it's just two damage face. Also, your weapons are weak in this ooze meta. A bit weak. What about mark shot? I think if you want to go the Zuljin round, you can put a mark shot and like deadly shot. A master's call, but we're trying to keep this free to play. So it's Master's Call, it's only a rare but still budget. Master's Call is epic. It is a good card, but it's epic, right? epic -y. We're trying to avoid epic stuff. Well, we easily kill this. The question is, do we want... Yeah, we got options. We can Hatchet, Timberwolf, trade this in. Or we can coin Dire Frenzy, make it a 4-4, four, four, and trade it in. Keeping the coin has value, because next time we can Dire Frenzy anyway. And then coin the Wyvern. Chat, what would you do? You either go Dire Frenzy or you go Timberwolf Hatchet. I'd go Hatchet Timberwolf. Maybe because we can use Hatchet again next turn. And it turns uh, our other minions into like free damage. Holy Nova doesn't come until next turn, along with Mass Hysteria. And we get to keep the coin. Although I wouldn't hate it if you went Coin Frenzy. I just think this is better because we can now Frenzy and then Coin the uh, Unleash anyway. Hmm. I don't hate Frenzy here, but at the same time, getting a Huffer or a Leoc or a Misha wouldn't be bad. This is more damage. Can frenzy a shimmer fly. So you have a 4 4. What do you think? I don't hate animal companion. Uh, do this. Probably have a charge as well. Misha's good. The Huffer would have been bad to Holy Nova. The Liya would have been with 2 damage and would survive. Oh, what can I? What? Who runs this combo? How can I circle combo at rank 23? Jeez. Ah, oh, that's kind of lame. That's kind of the mayonnaise. You guys are doing a pretty good job at making sure I don't have a board. But he's getting low on cards and unleash the beast is such value. Truth is my oh damn, that is annoying. Never mind. Yeehaw, we got ourselves some good draws. Well, we're definitely bouncing this off, right? Like, we could coin the Lynx just to make it so if you mass Hysteria, there's a chance it fails and we keep a 5-3. And I would actually do it. Specifically because of that reason. Because I think this is a 33% chance to screw the mass Hysteria. Because can this hit Legend? Someone said they'll donate $1,000 if I hit rank 5. So it's why Hunter? Hunter is the best budget deck. And the last time I did a budget Hunter deck... Um, was two years ago when Ungaro was released. So, figured it's time to update it because none of the like, it's been a full cycle since Ungaro, which means none of the cards, not a single card from the last time I did Budget Hunter, can be included except the classic cards. 
four brand new rounds of expansions. And you'll see that we kept mostly the same stuff. Like uh, Dire Wolf, Animal Companion, Hyena, Kill Command, Unleash. We don't run Hellmaster right now. But I could see running Hellmaster. The main reason why I don't like Hellmaster is that it requires to have a beast and it's a terrible like off the top draw. Dire Frenzy you can kind of wait and it makes your future draws even better. Can I run Le <laughs> Leroy in this? Mid-range Hunter is an aggression. I mean, you could. It wouldn't be like that bad. But Mirror Hunter isn't an aggro deck. It's not a smart deck. It's a slam your OP 6 drop, 5 drop, 6 drop, and snowball your early lead deck. Like, Rogue is way more smart than um, Hunter. Ooh, those hands are gross. I really don't like tracking on one because you want your one drops. There we go. Oh, now this. Now this is a hand. This is like, it's not like Diamo Crackling Razor Mod good, which was the previous OP combo. It's not Alley Cat Crackling Razor Mod. Remember Alley Cat? Oh, that was a good, that was a great one drop. Alley Cat was good. And then Diamo came. Alright, I really do not think he would play get down into this. <laughs> he's a madman! I mean, he's a rank 23 man. To be specific. Dribblefly is great because I would say the average hunter spell is not bad. It gives you the value you need. Unfortunately, if this is get down, we can't proc it with the rush minions because there's nothing to rush into. We just have to hit with this. Ooh, nice. We can test get down now. Well, I have determined it is not get down. We can use this to test for repentance. Although everything we have is one health anyway. Just a repentance. Then we smack him in the face here. That was a mistake. You could coin... Um, True Silver, which would be really strong. Justice would be good too. Oh, Hammer of Wrath. Let's forget what's in front. A little annoying. Nothing we can handle though. Don't want to overplay into Consecration. I'll hold the Hatchet Charge for now. At 3, I think you always use it just in case they have Ooze. At 2... Can afford to wait. Oh, yeah, I did have a true silver champ. Uh, yeah, it's annoying for him here because he doesn't want to hit either of these. This is definitely not correct. You hit this anyway. It feels bad to kill a one health minion with a four attack weapon, but you, 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 you kill that. You kill that. All right, so I'm gonna hit him in the face here with my hatchet because the game might end within a couple turns, maybe even next turn. And I want to make sure I get hatchet value. Also, creation would be good. Yep, that's fine. He has to take uh, two damage anyway. And he'll have trouble dealing with Savannah. There's been the murder in Sav. Okay, this guy's just trolling now. If it's get down, it is technically better for us to take it. It's a difference of one damage. I guess it don't really matter. Toast eyes, quiz one. Toast eyes, quiz two. Thank you. Of course, you have to kill it for um, be okay. Bless him, kings. Bok bok. The van has one of the biggest bomb you have. Just super sticky. If it doesn't die, six damage to the face. It's not pain. It's gonna hit me in the face here. As he's always done. Thanks for the sub, Velvet Ili Do Odo Knight MDK. Boop. 
No, no, it was not well played. Oh, 24 months. That's a lot of, that's a lot of driving. Thank you so much. <clears throat> I just keep diving with Alpha. It curves out. Ooh, Hyena too. Nice. Nice. If he drops the North Shire Cleric, I want it's a headache. Or I just do this. No need to spend the coin. I mean, you could coin Hyena. But if he paints it, then it's really awkward. So, I get the hyena and then coin one drop and double trade to have a five, four, no, six, four. That just dies to shadow or death. Mm -hmm. Or I can play die wolf. Mm, what do you think chat? There's actually a couple of options here. I'll go for the safe play. I think hyena might've been it, but at the end of the day, okay. If he gets damaged back, it's actually really annoying. I don't think that was the wrong play. Ideally, I would like my dude at four attack and not six attack as a shadow or death. Yes, I know I ain't got balls. They cut it off when I decide to serve at the Royal Court. I mean, it's kind of the same thing, right? If he has death, he has death. He kills this all the same with Shadow or Death. Got a random priest spell. Another play we could have gone is just hatchet it down and then drop a shimmer fly. The so board would be a 2 1, a 1 1, and a hatchet, which I don't like as much. I'd rather have more power on the board right now. How are my friends doing in the auto chess tournament? Oh, wait, Scar number one? Damn, Scar. Aw, oh, shit. Nice job. That's a, that's a pug. That's a, gonna be a big pug for me. I actually don't like adding any power to this because, uh, mass hysteria. No, nope, never mind. <laughs> Ooh, control warrior? So, Hunter actually doesn't do too bad into Warrior because of Savannah specifically. You want an animal companion? Eternium Rove is a huge pain in the ass. Ooh, this hand's a little awkward. I can coin double animal companion. The twin spell isn't bad either. I'm gonna go... If I coin Animal Companion, is that a good play? Coming up on his turn too, right? I'm gonna unleash the beast. It's a warrior. The game probably goes longer. What? Is that an Alvin Archer? <laughs> This turn is awkward for sure. Oh damn, you got an epic? Eee, you rich? I coin Rhino. The thing I like about coining Rhino is that it makes Dynomatic pretty bad for him. The thing I don't like about coining Rhino is Militia, Militia Commander is a huge pain in the ass. Hi Toast, any classes with untapped potential that you can think of? Like cards are there, but just haven't clicked yet. Um, uh, hmm. Let me think about that. Okay, if I coin the Rhino, the problem with that is even though it beats Dynomatic, my follow up isn't exactly good. So I'll do this. So coining this or this is the follow up. Dynomatic would be annoying, but I can coin Unleash the Beast to get rid of it. And I feel like most of the decks that's going to be discovered has been discovered already. I 
I like Corning Savannah. Playing the Tundra isn't bad either. I'll be pretty hard pressed to deal with this. Is there any other consideration here? I can coin this out. I'm trying to think uh, if the ding 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 is going to make matter. You know? What's that thing? The, the one that goes ding ding ding? Oh, what's the name of that card? Super Collider, there you go. <laughs> and this kind of plays around Super Collider, and plus at this point, the coin is mostly irrelevant. You know, the ding ding ding! The ding ding ding! Ding ding ding! <laughs> oh, this is spicy. But I don't think it's time yet. This is this always has to go in, right? I can play Scavenging Hyena. I guess I should have considered this before I played this. Hmm. Or just Savannah, but we see what we get off here. All right, uh, Warpath is only four damage. Well, three damage. Four damage means you can clear my, uh, hyenas. Oh, this is not very cash money of you. You know how uncash money this is? Super uncash money. Well, could just... Can we look for something? Hmm. The Hench Clan doesn't really make sense here, right? Here's the annoying thing. <laughs> I'm playing on Warpath the most here. And this beats Warpath. Oh, nice and simple. So you had lethal with Rhino Hyena, double trade Murloc Raider. The Murloc is not a beast, it's a Murloc. That's why it's called Murloc and not Beast Lock. Oh, it's Rogue. Uh, Rogue actually beats Hunter nowadays. In the past, it used to be Flip, but between all the backstabs and the hero power and the SI7 agent, trying to stick a minion is impossible. And also the Sap. Hunter beats Warrior, but Rogue beats the shit out of Hunter. But Warrior beats the shit out of Rogue. We could track him for a 1-drop with just hero power. Any 1-drop I play, he's just gonna hero power down anyway. And this Rogue has coin too, so coin SS is on the table. Misha's great. I thought we just die to a backstab anyway, but Misha dies to a backstab and an SI. Or a coin burglar into a vendetta. Or a pickaxe. What? Golden pickaxe at rank 21? Get a life. Let's see if we can find anything off tracking. I want direct damage. Hyena wouldn't be terrible, I suppose. I know it wouldn't be bad just because of Tundra right now, but uh, that's going to be scary. Mm -hmm. We might have to cheese a win against the rogue here. That involves keeping so many cards in our hand. I'll do this. I'm comfortable with this because um, he doesn't have one damage to kill this. He has to use a backstab. Yeah, it's a meta deck. 
There's nothing wrong with meta deck. I'm just pointing out. This guy's playing full on meta deck. Just saying. He wants to play a meta deck. He, he, you know, go play your meta deck, dog. You know, go, go get you. Go get yours kind of deal. Don't think I can use the Rhino. I think Rhino's part of my win condition. I think what needs to happen is I need to wait for a huge burst damage. I die frenzy. This, I get 1-1 one, one beast, which wasn't bad. If I just play the Rhino and punch it. It's technically one health, which would be really nice. But it shuts off ways for me to burst him down, which will not be as nice. What do you think, chat? You know what? I'm going to do it. I think you have to do this. So that if he plays um, Captain Greenskin, he's overkilling the Rhino and taking three. Yeah, it's just the thing you have to do. I don't know if we can survive until that late anyway. He only drew one pirate? That's surprising. Yeah, that's fine. He's overkilling by three. Hmm. There's a world we don't play high main and just smork him. And I kind of like it because Smorking it has a higher chance to win the game against the Rogue. Are we at the Smork phase yet? Savannah forces out a sap, which is great and all. You know what? It's probably still just Savannah. Oh, but if he saps it, I'm... If he saps it, I'm like Omega screwed. I can put 6 damage. I can put him down to 12. And then he deals with that. I still have Unleash with the Dire Frenzy. I think the main logic here is that I got so much burst already. I'm going to use Hatchet and just hit three times. I feel like the game's going to end in three turns anyway. Unleash his damage. Unleash Dire Frenzy's damage. Hero, uh, hero power's damage. Me punching him in the face is damage. Don't want to lose to Sap. Oh, he did have a Sap. The sky is coach. Yeah, genius. So that's why I avoid high main against Rogue sometimes. Because the Sappy, Sappy, Sap is going to make me fappy, fappy, fap. Toaster, that sounds a little weird. Okay, now I'm comfortable dropping the high main. If he has second sense. I really like your handsome face toast. Alright, thanks, I guess. Now we'll do one trade. If he has second sap, that means he can't sap it the third time. And we can just drop it hero power. I don't like dropping hyena because vendetta would just kill it. Although I feel like if he had Vendetta, he would have used it already instead of sapping a one drop. The biggest annoyance is Zilliac's card. Everyone plays. Ah, oh, he did have second sap. He also had healing touch, so Smorkin would have paid off. Oh, the beauty is that third sap doesn't exist. Also, one mana Timber Wolf is really good. I mean, one mana four for Timber Wolf specifically. We just drop it here. I'll hold the weapon charge. You have no idea what I'm okay. That. Oh, my lord, no, that is never right in any. I mentioned. Right, that was lethal. So, what I demonstrated there is that you should always count how much damage you have on the board before committing to a line of play. That is what I'm purposely demonstrating to y'all. And I'm glad you guys picked up on it. You passed the test once again. Rank 20. I think this is where we'll start seeing some meta decks. This is a great opener. Uh, I would have liked it more if I was starting first. Hatchet is crazy good in the mirror matchup. 
If he drops a turn one minion, I can't afford to drop a Shimmer Fly because if he Hyena's on the second, then it's a three health minion, and then I'm getting whooped in the ass. Oh, never mind. A hunter without a one drop starting first is over. He is Dunzo Manifesto. You definitely hatch it over a uh, Hench Fan. You don't want to kill your own minion for no reason. We win. I can't imagine us losing from this position. This position is nigh unlosable. I know what more companion in his three play. And we can deal with any, everything that pops out. Ooh, I don't know about that, Chief. Which is not bad at all. I don't hate Misha. It's only a little sad if he has Mark Shot, because that means you got no value from it. No Mark Shot, eh? Oi, lads, we got him. I'm gonna punch with Hatchet. Because we're on aggression, I have kill command. So, getting face damage in with Hatchet right now is pretty good. The game might end as early as next turn, right? I can tracking for Savannah here, but I think I just coined this out. So I can attack with him next turn to his face. Unleash the Hound would be really nice here. Six damage, right? How much damage is this? Six. I mean, these are definitely going into trades here for sure. I guess I should have killed this first to see what, um. Probably got. Eight. Thirteen. One damage off. Is Lisa? Did I? Oh, if I double traded it and hit face with hatchet. Once again, chat, you passed my test of spotting Miss Lethal. You're making me so proud right now as a streamer. <laughs> Someone promised me 1k if I hit rank 5. Money, money, money. How does this deck deal with Token Druid? Eh, you don't really deal with Token Druid. A big Hyena is your only option. So Hyena until Unleash on his Whispering Woods turn. But Token Druid does usually beat Hunter. And it's fine. You're, you get countered by certain things. Your Hatchet early on. You control it. And then a big Hyena. It's not impossible to win with. I actually think it's a, a fine matchup. Uh, I think we hard mulligan for the one. And also hatchet against Paladin is pretty good. And we got the one. You are running Savannah, so your matchup against Control Warrior ain't too shabs. W U H U. Woohoo at to you as well. Pointing a three. What the heck do you play on a three? Oh okay. Alright, alright, alright. Maybe Yuck's not terrible. It's healthier than a huffer. Gets two damage to that four. Immortal prelate memes? <sighs> That'd be pretty fun. All right, this is a bit of a cheeky monkey play here. 
But because it's at 5 health, it dodges pretty much everything Paladin related. A safer play would be to kill Commanded, but I'm not interested in safe plays. It's one of those things that if you don't kill that, it's gonna, gonna kill you. Gonna kill you. You can't attach enough to make this uber threatening, right? We smart. Zillax would be the best thing, I suppose. And it would be hecka annoying. Orgear's not. Orgear means I keep my chargers. Chargers that can go f f f f face 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 face. I'm a go face. If he doesn't kill both minion, he's dead. If he kills both minion, he's still dead unless he heals. So he needs to kill both minions and heal. That ain't healing, dog. He needs like that blessed light forge blessing or something. Oops, not healing. I mean, if he had it, I would have lost the game right there. There, but people don't run weird things. Fifteen months, toast I for you. Does that make me a real one? No, no, it doesn't. But sub for another fifteen months, and we can talk about it. We'll talk about it. Right? We'll talk about it. Mage. Hmm. Oh, I know these are all too expensive. Grimmer Fly, Spring Paw, Hatchet, Hyena, Animal Companion. Sorry, I was peeing. Um, hmm. I played it just so far into ping it. Yeah, if he pings it, he pings it. <laughs> Yeah, for me, it's like, if he wants to ping it, he can ping it. He's not doing anything else with two mana, right? Like, uh, book of specters. There's the old ping ping ho. Ping ping ho, ping ping ho. Oh no, not a free bird. Not the bird. Ah. Uh. Wait, this is not thing, right? I don't know if we coined the second one, although I'm not against it either. That's a mage. Well, having the rhino be that much more effective. What do you think, chat? I guess we just make the safe play. I'm trying to use my brain a lot, and it's making me uncomfortable. We can coin rhino, overkill animal companion, coin dire wolf. I guess we have some options here. What is this memory? From Mimi, son. What card would really suck here? Um, the four, five, four charger is perfect for killing this. Toast. I gave up HS for Lent. First day back. Can you catch me up on the meta, please? Uh, rogue and warrior. Warrior and rogue. Rogue and warrior. Warrior and rogue. Rogue and warrior. Warrior and rogue. Rogue and warrior and warrior and rogue. Shall I go on? Shall I go on with the meta? Oh, neat. Alright, two shots to this is not very... What the? What is this? Oh, this was not very neat at all. This was not very cash money. Oh. I miscalculated. <gasps> oh my god, my alpha came with charge. I bet I should end him companion. For some reason, I thought the Meteorologist had two health. 
Uh, the play there would have been um, probably just unleash the beast and trade. Or at least go face. Welcome to the show. Oh, God, I screwed up so hard here. Really? You don't want to keep this alive? Do I really care about magic carpet? No, no, no. But, I mean, it's not like I can hit face. That misplay might cost me. Although, he would have still be able to clear with magic carpet during firing either in hero power. Now that justifies my misplay. The gates are open. How about you open my nuts? <laughs> Don't you me out of again! Twitch Prime. Okay. I think this play is just better. Hi. Up. If he has Alex Ross at them. Oh boy, am I in trouble. Oh, doggy. Come on. Alex Ross yourself. Do it. Do it. Put me out of my misery. Okay. Well, last I checked, Ice Block rotated out. Man, this is an Alex Draza off the top, then you get the win. Can attack as if it might be Vape and Ice Bear, then it really, really sets me back. Oh, I got a three game win streak with this deck. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, it's a very cheap, very solid deck. On a per dollar basis, this might be the best there is. Dude, and draw your last pathetic card. 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 You say yes, I say no, you say hi, I say bye, go, go. Okay, I don't know how that song goes. You say goodbye, and I say hello. Hello, hello. I don't know why I say goodbye, I say hello. Oh no, it's a druid. How loudy loud he coming. Why ever keep Timberwolf? Just have a turn one play. A uh, little risky. Especially if he coins um things fine though. It blocks the acorn. Block being a very Okay, this hand is pretty good if he's token. Now right, this hand is really good if he's token. And by really good I mean we don't auto lose anymore. And we have maybe a 40% chance to win. Coin dream. Oh, Kappa Rat. Okay. We do this in case we want to die frenzy one of these. We'd rather die frenzy this than this one because at least this one gives you an extra links. Uh, what are we afraid of? The summon, uh, the summon one would be really bad. Of course, he hits the summon one. Of course, it's a 2-3. These are all things that will, of course, happen. Um, Misha would be best case scenario, huh? Oh, good fudging, Lord. Dude, I don't want a full trade. That feels so bad. Okay, I'll only... Semi we need to find um, Hyena. If we get for Hyena, I think we win. Hyena's our one saving grace here. Squirrel lover. Okay, all right, all right. We might have a chance here, lads. Uh, 
patch is pretty good. Hogsteel is not bad either. At least with the Hogsteel, I'll keep a minion, but Hatcher can be used to pound so much different things. Yeah, I think if he Whispering Woods here, we win. I'm picking Hatcher just in case he doesn't go Whispering Woods yet, and he just summons two two Treants for a while. Yeah, it's gonna have to be a big Hyena. What? There's no way that was your best play. Not that scared. You're telling me in six cards your best play is a 1 1 squirrel. You think me a moron. Wow. Ooh, buddy, your hammer suck ass. Or maybe it's just a bunch of twin spells. That's gonna be a problem because now he can give RNG a silence or RNG a taunt or RNG a charge. There's a lot of RNGs to consider here. Yeah, Ancient of War is my biggest concern. It's really hard to account for random druid cards. This is why we never played any of these. I'm gonna save them for the boisty boys. The boisty boys. I don't know why he then just played these three more guardians instead of trying to save it for a buff. Should have just played it. It would have been really annoying to remove because he would get free healing off it. But he tried to save it for a big buff turn, and that's just silly. Toss, what do you think about the Raven Bundle? I mean, they're all in rotation for another year, and you're getting it half off. Ooh, another token. Not very fun. Okay, since we're not going on the first turn, having a one drop isn't as important, so we can just toss the Timberwolf. Yay, Spring Paw! Spring Paw's good for those acorns he's gonna bear. And again, we're looking for Hyena. Druids can't deal with the big stuff. Come on, bear some acorn. Put those nuts on the board. The light protects Argent Squire. Me. Oh, this was not expected. This is a huge pain in my ass. Why too high man? Because you're not running Master's Call. So you need better top decks. I mean, two mana, two drop for a two drop is not bad, right? Yeah, this is just a hard matchup. I don't know if that's right. I don't know if that's right. I hope it is. I'm looking for a hatchet off this. Shimmer fly, huh? Then pick up Hyena. It's fine. He's not gonna whisper Ring Woods anytime soon, anyway. The hatch is useful. He can't whisper Ring Woods for now. We'll have to slowly stabilize. We have one copy of Unleash. This Unleash is gonna be very important because it's the only way we can hard clear a board. Did this dude just swipe me in the face? Without any. Oh, damn! I can't afford Master's Call. Get it off. Uh, RNG effect, I guess. <laughs> That's funny. Who needs money when you have RNG? Yeah, that swipe face was extremely aggressive. We should be okay for now. 
the Hench Clan Hog Steel helps this matchup a lot. Because you remove a token, you leave a token. Oh man, dude, your plays. They suck. Down to 14 health. Shouldn't take too much smoke damage anymore. What a tragedy! Better write this down. Mm. Oh, this is really obnoxious, huh? Uh, what's the best way for me to kill this? Fudge, man. This is really annoying. Uh, this may have been a mistake. Not that it's Sage War, right? Sage War 333. Yeah, this was a mistake. I fucked up. I should have done this. Should have maybe even ignored it. Yeah, no, this was a mistake. I should have ignored it. That's a misplay. If I lose, I deserve it. Not have tried to do this. Well, you know, the good news is I'm not dead. Nice. So I got that going for myself, which is nice. I do not possess the tools necessary to kill this, right? <sighs> I should try and roll a ton here. That helps a lot, actually. Toast, my girlfriend recently broke up with me. It's been a rough week ever since. What should I do aside from watching your streams? Should I just move on or keep trying to win her back? Why are you making me peppy hands right now, huh? Um, well, if she's worth it, try and win her back. I mean, if she even really wants to be won back but from my experience if a girl doesn't want you she doesn't want you why are you wasting your time plenty of fishes in the sea and all that good jazz i played this one so bad no meme it might help if you just fap a little bit usually i feel a lot better of my about myself after fapping if i'm in a sad place No mean. Yeah, I really screwed up killing the scribe, I think. I think it's time was to just leave it alive. Make him trade into me instead. Fortunately, we're not punished for it. I don't know how old you are, but if you're like early 20s or in your teen years, you have about 20 more years to meet more people. So why did she break up with you, right? Was it incompatibility or did you screw up? Really hard to be able to give you advice. And you can also use this as an op opportunity. Go bang as much girls as you want. Now you're a free man. Instead of bang, 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 bang. Instead of bang, 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 bang. I like hatchet against token. Even if it's just a 2 2 weapon. No one drop makes the skies toast a sad boy. Oh, work and no play makes toast go something, something, something. This hand is god awful.
Oh lord, he coming. Alright, since I got two hatchets, since I feel power, I'm just gonna play a hatchet here. I could just hero power. But then he could kill this. And then I don't have hatchet charge anymore. Hard to say. All I know is my hand really, really is pure smelly, smelly ass. Hmm. Why, oh, you think you can RNG? Do you think. Ah! Oh, stop giving me kill commands! Okay, if he was Spring Woods and I top deck Hyena, I'm back in the game. Ah, it's that juggle. That juggle, that juggle. My hand's really, really bad. I might lose this. The only way I can see myself getting out of this is a hyena draws sometime soon. Okay, never mind. I can also win if he just chooses to do nothing. Now all my hounds will have unle uh have charge. This is great. Uh Whispering Woods coin buff would be bad too. Oh crap, I forgot to attack. Oopsie. That's gonna matter. A lot. A lot. A lot. This is where it all comes crashing down. This guy's toast empire. You're seeing the loss of this right here. I mean swiper's gonna swipe, piper's gonna pipe, you know. Look, if I lose this game by two damage, you guys are free to complain. What about Leoc? If even if I get Leoc, I trade. Even if I get Leoc, I trade. I think you could have argued I should have Animal Companion though. Right, if, this, if I lose this game by two, what shall we hide? Is he gonna do one twin spell here? These guys are really good too. Thought the forest. Damn, this is a little annoying now. There's a world where I just say, hey, you know what? Time to smork. And it's this world. It's time to smork. That two damage I missed actually might screw me here. If he double Savage Roar, he double Savage Roar. If he buffs it up for lots of healing, then he buffs it up for lots of healing. That two damage is gonna matter. Holy crap. Once he plays all the forest, this essentially makes it impossible for us to trade against him. If he double Savage Roar, it's 5 plus 5. It's not enough. It's 15 damage. Plus 4, 19 damage. The downside is the healing he's gonna get from the lifesteal. Holy crap. I lost because I missed... Wait, what? Wait, what? No! No, you don't do this! You don't have the right to make this play! Well, it just goes to show, you can play a meta deck at rank 17, but you're still a rank 17 player. Man, at least kill the Liako at the Tundra Rhino. Yeah, good decks are good. You have to know how to play them. Why is there so much token dudes? You keep on. I actually think you keep all of this. Yeah, maybe not the Dire Wolf. Actually, maybe the Dire Wolf. I don't know. Backing can hit Scavenging Hyena too. Mm, maybe not the Dire Wolf. Damn! Good mulligan. Damn. Acorn bear on turn one. Let's go. No acorn bearer. Oh, loud. If you're a pass, it's fine. He wants to dreamway guardian though. Oh, that is so bad for you. Hee 
<laughs> Get coin the timber wolf. I don't know if it's worth it though. Rather save the coin. And timber wolf with unleash in case you want to twin spell. What's his play here? Coin swipe? Or oh, if I don't stop him? Wow, he really doesn't have a great play besides coin swipe here. I mean, besides swipe here. That's fine. It gives me a second copy anyway. If he swipes this, we're okay with it. I could argue I should have left up uh, links in case I want to die frenzy. Don't just do this. We don't want to use this to trade because of um, Wrath. We force him to swipe hero power it, in which case it just gives us a naked Savannah high main on the board. Exhibit A. This is better. You can't Whispering Woods and Twin Spell comes the turn after. So I learned my lesson. I just leave this up, right? <laughs> yeah. Put on the threads. Make him remove everything. Gonna juggle, mate. Oh, he gets four juggles, but he also gets buffs. Good luck. Also, if you flood the board, I'm just gonna leash the hero power anyway. Okay. Dire Frenzy is too much. You know, I don't disagree. I think maybe we can swap one Dire Frenzy for one Hellmaster. Mm, rogue. I hate, I hate playing against Rogue. I think when you're trying to snowball an early lead to a victory. Although he has coin. It's not looking great, but we'll try our best. Against Rogue, I feel like you kind of just want to keep some cards to burst. You can coin Miscreant here, which would be hecka good. That's fine. That's fine. He kept four cards in his opener, so... He will mostly just hero power him in the face. Nine lives actually has synergy with Savannah, too. Gonna coin the pickaxe? Oh, really? Uh, hmm. Figure out whether or not we kill commanders. Oh, that's a good pickup. Oh, 
Curve's a little awkward, but we don't want to take a 4-3 to the face. He can punch one, but I'll get to keep one. And he takes one damage in the process. Every little bit help. Do you think Wizbang will stay in standard forever? No. I think what they'll end up doing is making new new kinds of Wizbang. Uh-oh. Okay, that's really bad. Uh, I don't have a way to break that weapon. I need to apply pressure. A few random spells might get me there. Actually, let's do this. This is the most aggressive opener, and I think I need it because of Spectral Cutlass. I feel like the game's not going to last long enough. Yep, now it's... Mm, oh, Jesus. Okay, this one might be a loss. He's healing for four every single turn now. Still lurking. We could technically run ooze in this list only because we don't run master's call. Hmm. Oh, he's playing a pseudo meme deck and augmented alec. Obvious spectral colors isn't exactly a meme. It's a good card. Oh, good freaking lord. Let's go. Healing for four each turn. All right, see how we do. That's good if he doesn't hit prep. He can't hit here, right? Holy crap. <laughs> okay. I don't think he should have lost that. But he was probably playing a meme deck. watching the auto chess tournament why does it keep pausing i'm not paying too much attention right now but every time i switch to the auto chess channel it's being paused the animal companion is nice steam updates are DCing people oh wow greetings what's up I'm gonna do this so that if I roll Leoc, it's okay. If he has a uh, well Pyro plus a spell, then yeah, it's fine because Rhino and Savannah are pretty beefy. Beef for real woos. They're beef boys, you know. This makes Leoc acceptable. All right, Leoc, the one time I need you. Well, we're never killing this. I just coined this. If you give it on this deck doesn't run silence hard removal or weapon removal besides rng ones that's fine 
Now we can actually kill this. Are you gonna give me Leox this time? Misha would be really bad. Nice. That's what we need. I love the card art for this. All those Murlocs screaming, running for their lives. Uh. If I hit it, it's two. If I hit it, it's five. I think we die a frenzy, right? As the resurrection comes on turn nine, I well, know how master. Yeah, I'm starting to think we should run how master because we only we don't run master's call. Or something we can switch up. I'm not against it. I think it's a pretty good suggestion. Maybe one of each. I do like dire frenzy just because it allows you to pull off some cheeses. It makes your future draws really good. I'm sure he has master stereo. We don't have that much healing. Toss tracking. Yeah. As a deck with big plays on certain turns and finishers like kill command, I think uh, tracking is necessary. I'm a big fan of tracking. I feel like it's one of the best cards in the game. I like putting big minions on the side, mainly because, um,. That must lethal. Four, three. No, not really. Because uh, I can put Direwolf Alpha in the middle, and weaker minions are generally the ones you trade off. Boop, boop, boop. Shaman and Rut Row. Shaman's got Hex. But this curve is still pretty nice. Savannah I really do not like in this matchup. Also, Shimmer Flight gets whipped by Earth Shock too. Is this guy toast? Yes, this guy is toast. Less than three. Oh, thank God I have this hatchet, because if I didn't, the game is over. Okay, I think we win now. I started first with the one drop and hatchet. It's only turn two, but I can see I can see the lines. I think we win here. He needs a, a summon lackey or a damage lackey. A rush lackey doesn't do anything. Unless he wants to rush something in. Oh, y'all got a weapon. You should definitely trade. Holy shizzle. He does not give a hootenanny about anything. Everything is so expensive. It might be the rhino so I can curve out on the six. You're going smork. That's bold. That's real bold. Oh, one mana. Wait, two mana, nine damage. Still looking for damage lackey. The rush lackey doesn't do anything. Rush lackey in this scenario is probably the worst thing. Wait, now you're trading. You're hot and you're cold. You're yes and you're no. This is a great pickup. We'll trade this off. We can use hatchet. 
Cybertech microchips. I think that might be good for unleash later. We just punch this. No big deal. We have weapon and a rhino to trade for. Damn, I. Ugh, it's the one one. That means I take some extra one damage. Well, spring fall combo is not bad, too. I'm winning the health race, I'm winning the tempo race, and I'm winning the board race. I'm winning all the race. <laughs> That's what we call a uh, Uber Omega Lull. No, no, what? You can't kill this. What are you trying to do? You're about a hundred different health of damage away from killing this. Well, just more to unleash the hound. GG. Lights out.